Hey guys, my name is Drifting Shade, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent, part two. Um, we got nice and spooked last time, and we're gonna continue to get spooked, I imagine, in this part, so... I haven't been much farther than this at all. I don't think at all, actually. I think- I actually think this is where I was last time, so... Let's see, that is boarded off. It obviously will not budge. Let's take a look over here, that's nothing. So we need a key for the wine cellar, in case you forgot, between last time and this time. This is the archives. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. Shit. Wow. Are these memories of Daniel's? What's this? Rare books. I just hear something? Catalogs. Okay. Wonder what language this is. Seems like Spanish or something? Or Latin? Could be Latin. Ooh, hello, bugs. Okay, in order to move the object. Okay. Can I grab these? Can I do anything? No. Weird. Okay. Of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the Tin mother Hanan. of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. The burial chamber. No matter chamber. what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm, so that was Daniel's uh, diary. So he was, from what I gather, an archaeologist of sorts before all this shindig started happening. Hang on just a second here, guys. There is a uh, line that is consistently being a pain in my ass right now. Not sure if this will help at all. Uh, I don't want to restart the whole freaking thing. Okay, never mind. Um, hopefully it's not too super visible in the video, but anyway. <clears throat> let's go into catalogs, see what we got in here. Uh, not much. Okay, here we go. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Hmm. So there's some sort of deal going on with those guys. Do I need light? Everything was getting all weird. <sighs> I just think this game just likes to do that a lot. Obviously it does. Okay, so this is the study. Uh, oh, Wyatt, stop that, dude. <sighs> I'm not sure if you guys, I'm not sure if the mic picked him up doing that, but he's being a little bit loud in there. Uh, starting to piss me off. But what was that? Hello? That sounded like somebody speaking. What's this? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My, my hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today. I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. 
The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh! Cliffhanger, Daniel. What the hell, man? Wow, so we're getting a little bit of background story of just kind of some stuff that happened, apparently. Uh, can I just, you know, dive through this window and get the hell out of here? I would love to do that. Absolutely love to get out of here. Alright, so I heard some voices talking, but apparently that's just my Daniel's brain playing tricks on me. Can I light this? I can light that, but I don't want to. Oh, I am so sorry! Whatever hell I just unleashed on this earth, I am so sorry. Whoa, I did not know I wasn't supposed to touch that. Okay, that was... Holy fuck, okay. Uh, old tomes. Oh, this is... Okay. I think that affected my sanity a little bit. Because that is... Who's, uh... Who's bing-bonging on the piano out there? Oh, no one? Okay. Alright, let's... This is fine. Everything's fine. No worries. Ooh, perfect. I need some more of this stuff. I need more tinder boxes. This is what I really could use. I need a key, too. Why can't... Why haven't I found the key yet? What's in here? Anything of use in here? Not really. No. And bottom drawer, no. It won't open, it's locked. Local history, okay? So, probably scribbled down. Oh, here's the piano. Okay! Ooh, there's the piano. Oh, shit. Yeah, head is pounding and hands are shaking, so... Seeing some of this stuff is uh, making me go a little bit crazy. Which is not good. Well, that's lovely. Um, that's a lovely picture. Okay. Uh, next up, let's go... What am I hearing now? Just the moans of my own insanity, probably. <sighs> this picture fell off the wall. Excuse me? Excuse me, what the hell was that? I'm trying to get the game volume and my voice kind of balanced out so you guys can hear uh, what, what, what's going on in the game and me at the same kind of levels. So, if the game seems a little bit quiet, I apologize. There's blood on the rocks, that's awesome. Um, I apologize, but just know that I'm uh, working to improve that in the future, so... What is this? Floor plans and maps. Okay. Uh, which one should I go to first? Uh, let's go to floor plans. Oh, I remember this room. I was in here last night. Okay. Maybe anyway. I might have been. I'm not sure. They put the lantern away for now. Again, Beethoven's bing-bonging on the piano! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. I swear when centuries. the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. 
Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. East Wing and Western Hall, huh? Okay. So the piano was bing bonging again. Which, that's awesome. There's one right there and I... Holy fuck! Okay. Don't do that, please. Ah, there's the lovely collapsing earthquake that Alexander just conveniently warned us about. Oh, a, a note? Okay. Is this our third piece of our diary? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? 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 What is happening? What? 17th of May. <gasps> okay. I think we're okay. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, I can move. So he's like... Are all of his memories coming back? For me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. What is this? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Wow. That must have been the third part of our, uh, of Daniel's journal here that we just picked up. Okay, we're back to a slight headache. <coughs> yeah, so that must have been... Um, that must have been his third part. Maybe. Oh no, it's under diaries, huh? Yeah, that was the third part. Algeria. Okay. Very interesting stuff. I wonder what the, the artifact was that he got. Ooh, I will take that tinderbox, thank you. Any others? No? No. A book... Go away, book. Alright. Reading is for losers. Just kidding, you should read, kids. It's good for you. Much better than playing horror games. Much better for you than that, anyway. Okay, so here's the rock. Hiya! I did it! I did the thing. Alright. Okay, what's going on here? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Okay. Okay. So, it would seem that we have... There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Okay, that's the one that was locked. Evidence in the laboratory is revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so this is where I was last night. Everything from here on, I am totally unfamiliar with. So. A draft and faint light are coming from beyond the shelf. There must be a way in. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Grab some oil. child needs to stop yelling. It's locked and won't open. Okay. Okay, that's not it. 
There's gotta be... There is a certain way to activate. Okay, so there's the first one. And once that stops, I have to start over. I'll light that so I don't have to waste oil here. Okay, local folk folklore. Alstat and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt, deep within the east of Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighboring castle, Brennenburg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with the scattered lakes as picturesque as can be. Albay, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as, an ex as exciting entertainment. All, th all of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are, ga they are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlaps, burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Oh, fuck that. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Agrippa? Agrippa? I don't know. The well-known erudite visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for rem remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to be never seen again. Heinrich, Heinrich, Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever having visited Altstadt. Which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? I've heard stories about things like that in real life, Fuck that. The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his families, with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of those of noble, of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, uh, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander is, and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is the, in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Interesting. So I wonder if that's the Alexander that we're going to go kill. If so, then that's going to be weird. Um, fighting a 300-something-year-old dude. Okay, is this the other one? No, it's not. All right, so i got to find the other mechanism for this door. Uh, let's see. This bookshelf? Ah. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Where are you, Mr. Book? Where are you, Mr. Book? Hmm. Perhaps this one? Ah. ah. Okay, move fast. And then this one. Hello? There we go. Oh, so there's more than two. Ah, here's the other one. Ah, there we go. Three. Perfect. Ooh, I like the music. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that's still locked. Oh, 
Oh, man. I really like that puzzle-solving music. That was really cool. It, it leads it to be more mysterious, you know? That's very interesting. Okay, that's empty. Ooh! The wine cellar! Uh, I'm sorry? Was I not supposed to grab that? Okay. Anyway, that was that was disconcerting. Okay, regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my long <coughs> excuse me, I'll give this guy a voice. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff and Ke is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty, trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter is handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Hmm. I wonder who to uh wonder who wrote that. Well, it certainly sounds like he was up to nothing good, so. Take that, ink pot. Alright, uh what is this? Okay, some weird little placemat. Alright. Um any secrets on the bookshelves here? No. No. Just I'm just checking, guys. I'm sorry. I I've got to got to be thorough. Like I said, never played anything past this point, so I never actually even got this door open last time. So um so yeah. For those who don't know, I had two videos, two parts of this recorded, and I got up to this point roughly and they corrupted. So Unfortunately, I lost those footage, uh, those videos of footage, so, but that's okay, because now we are here, we are playing it, and it's going to be fun, and I'm with you guys, so I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, got a couple more minutes left here. I'm going to probably try to make these parts, I don't know, probably like half an hour or so. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys want. If you want longer parts, then, you know, feel free to let me know. If you think I should do shorter, then, you know, just, just leave a comment. Let me know what your opinion is. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Okay. Oh, this is open now. Oh, shit. How did I miss that? Okay. We did it. We're out of here. Hopefully. I think we're done here in the archives. Did I even go into the study? It won't budge. Okay. Interesting. Oh! I forgot to put oil on the lamp. Sorry. That scared me. Okay. Whew. Okay. Well, um... What else is there to do unless I can get into the study? I don't imagine that there's much more I can do here in the archive. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh. Okay. Do I follow that? Oh, fuck me, dude. That was... I have to follow it. That's the only way out of here. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, don't do that to me, please. Oh, no. Is he here still? Fuck! What the fuck? Dude, stop! Oh, and there's the piano again. Fucking fantastic. Fuck this, I'm out. I'm out of the archives, dude. I am out of the archives. Nope, no more. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Oh. Oh! Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my fuck. What is that? Oh, I, I need the lamp. Oh, shit. Oh! Okay! 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 Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! What do I do here? What the hell do I do here? If 
Fuck. Okay. Um. Is it just gonna... Okay. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Do I just run and jump? Huh. Okay. Ow, that hurts. Okay. Oh, man, what is that? What is anything? Oh, I did not imagine it would go this way. Holy shit. I, wa I was gonna go down those stairs up over there and explore. And now I'm not so sure I want to. I actually might have to. I don't, I don't know if I should go in the wine cellar yet. Okay, stop that with the wind. What is down here? Oh, good. More goop. More delicious goop. Okay. Fuck. Oh, how is my health? All is good still. Okay. Interesting. So... <coughs> my question is... Is that goop hurting me? Or is it just... Spitting at me? And like... Is it, is it damaging my health? Or is it damaging... My sanity? That's my question. Oh, there's st it's still here. Shit. Alright, um... I'm gonna run for it and go down this way. Ouch. Oh, I, that's pointless. That is so pointless. Son of a bitch. Alright. Uh. Okay. Sorry guys, my phone went off. I was just looking to see what it was. Okay, it looks like we have no choice but the wine cellar. Um, I'm, I'm spooked. Very good now. I'm very thankful it's the middle of the day. <sighs> okay. Let's head into the wine cellar. Oh, use the key on the door to unlock it. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? How do I use the key? How do I use the key? Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, those purple flashes. The statues were praying, gazing into the dark domed ceiling. Hmm. Anyway, I figured out when it flashes purple and goes, oh, I think that means that your sanity is going like, or I think it means that you solved a puzzle. Or something like that. And your sanity is being restored somewhat. Because now, a slight headache. So, a few cuts and bruises. So those things were damaging my health. Shit. Uh, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have ran through them so many times. Okay. It's probably too dark up here for that. Shit. Okay, let me get down here. Oh, memories. Okay. Memories! Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. Okay. Interesting. Um, is there no place to light stuff here? If an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness? Excuse me? Oh, shit. Oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. We're gonna have enemies now. What was that indeed? Okay. Alright guys, I believe I'm all out of time for this episode. Is there an enemy? We're just gonna close the door. Just close the door. It's all good. No big deal. No worries. Fuck. This ambiance is really getting to me. I'm gonna stop here guys. Thank you all so much, very much for watching. I have been Drifting Shade. And uh, this has been... The scariest fucking game I've ever played in my life. And, um, I am hoping that you're enjoying it because there's definitely going to be more of this to come soon. And I'm also going to have some other series coming up soon. If you guys want to see more horror games, let me know. If you want to see any specific game, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always down to play anything. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Drifting Shade, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Peace out, friends.
Fuck this. Fuck this. I am I'm out. I am out.